So it has actually been so cold here that my solar batteries don't work. And unfortunately, I need power, 12 volt power, to make my diesel heater run. What am I supposed to do? So you can hear this chugging along. Um, as I've mentioned before, this pulls about 100 watts, and I thought it was close to 10 amps. I have this guy, which is supposed to be able to do 10 amps. I bought a cigarette lighter from Amazon. It did not work. That's just chugging up starting now. What I did was buy one of these bad boys off um, Amazon. What it is, is it converts household power to 12 volt power. Um, and you can see the little numbers. So like I said, it's pulling about nine amps at 12 volts. It goes up and down a little bit until it gets started. Um, about 113 watts. But we are fully functioning, ready to go. Like I said, this is plugged into a grounded outlet. I haven't been able to run this for a couple days, but it's running beautifully now. So we have heat. It hasn't pulled too much power. It hasn't tripped anything. Um, and now we know exactly what this is pulling. So these are just good numbers to have regardless. Like I said, at three, it's pulling about, sorry for jerking around so much, 25. Let's go up just for the hell of it. I know it's still in warm-up mode, so we're not getting true numbers. We'll actually let this run for a little bit, and then we'll see. So if you have a diesel heater, you know as it gets up to speed, it's gonna use a bit of power just to get heating up. Um, we're on three out of a total of six uh, levels for heat, so this isn't too big of a draw, just getting started. As I said, we're pulling about two, three amps and 36 watts let's go up let's go to max like i said this is not the startup phase so it shouldn't draw too much power let it kick in a few minutes later okay so this thing has been running on three for a bit to kick it up to max it has reached operating temperature we are pulling about between 2.5 and 3 watts, uh, or amps, um, about 35 watts, reasonable. The main thing, power consumption will not go up by much. Obviously, the fan is going to be blowing harder. Your fuel consumption is going to be going up more than anything. So let's do the opposite and go down to 1, because usually overnight, this is what I put it on. You can hear the fuel pump slowing down. And at this rate, it's doing about 0.15 liters per hour, which is reasonable. I keep my camper at about 14 overnight, which I'm happy with. Um, this number, I find, never really gives an accurate state. It's just the air around this thing. And also, okay, so on one, we're looking at between 1.5 and 2 amps and about 20 watts. I am not an electrician. I'm a moron who figures things out. Um, solar was new to me. Building was new to me. All this was new to me. Diesel heaters were new to me. Um, this was about 70, 80 bucks on Amazon plus tax. Um, there are cheaper mo models, but um, because I knew the threshold was 10 amps, I didn't want to get, there's a bunch of five amp ones you can do. Um, but for now, for what it is, we now know what it pulls directly. So you can use that for math. Um, if you have this model, this can maybe help you out just to kind of get a proper read. I'm sure if you're a scientist or an electrician, engineer, you know this stuff already. But for dum-dums like me, um, I find this super useful to know how much power to budget and conserve and use for this thing. So if you are winter camping this winter, stay warm, stay safe, and get a diesel here. You will not regret it.